The Pokemon Company International was amazing enough to send me a free booster box of Temporal Forces and today we're opening up that box. Are you guys ready for the most influential set to come out since the release of Scarlet and Violet itself? Yes, this set is so dang good that I promise you after rotation, this set is going to have the most impact. There's so many new ways to play old decks and so many new decks that come out of this set that honestly, I don't know if Pokemon's going to be able to one-up it because it's that good of course watch they'll release the next set and i'll eat my words but at the end of the day that's how i feel about this set it's that good of course we were able to open up this booster box early thanks to the pokemon company international because they sent this to me for free to open up here and share with you guys so please like the video thank them down in the comments all that good stuff we've also opened up an etb on the channel if you want to see that go ahead and check out the link description if it's down there i might have not posted it yet but we do have an etb and it is being open so make sure you guys check that out as well so without further ado big thank you to big old pikachu and let's open this up i am so excited to see what we hit out of this again there's so many amazing cards in this set that Honestly, I can't just, I can't name them all. I really can't name them all without taking super long just talking about them. I'll be, I'll be straight up honest with you. That's how many amazing cards are in this set. And the pack arts look fire. Let me pull out some of each. All right, so these are the pack arts for the set. And honestly, they look amazing. You got Iron Crown, I believe the name is. Uh, Raging Quake, Quake. Quake Man, the 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 dinosaur. The, the what did you do to my boy Suicune? But the dinosaur. Uh, I want to say it's Walking Quake. You have Raging Bolt and you have Iron Leaves. I didn't play the DLCs, so I'm not 100% familiar with the names. I promise I'll play the DLCs in the future, but I'll get these card names down before you know it. I promise you. So let's go ahead and start cracking into some packs. Let's boop the snoot and see what we get. Man, this is going to be a long video because we got a whole booster box open. So make sure you got yourself a drink, stay hydrated, and uh, have a snack. And just enjoy your time. All right, so let's see what we have here. We got ourselves a Bronzor to start off. Mudbrang, Ghastly for that new Gengar, Venizen, Latias, Ancient Booster Energy Capsule, good reprint, and Iron Treads, amazing card for the future box. We got ourselves a Sharpedo, Frostmoth, and a Melmetal Hollow to kick things off with a Grass Energy in the back. So I'm going to just pile everything together here and hopefully we don't make a mess. So next pack, boop, let's see what we got. Come here, you! Oh my goodness, I'm so bad at opening packs. <laughs> I'm so bad at it. All right, flip it over. We got ourselves a Ponyta, cute little Ponyta. Got ourselves a Chatot, Cottony, Carvana, Sharpedo, Metagross, Roserade, Iron Thorns, future Iron Thorns here. This card is actually really cool. It's Destructo Press, the 70 damage. After you reveal the top five cards of your deck, it'll do 70 damage for each future card that you find there. And then you discard the future cards and the other cards will go back into your deck. It's kind of its own like deck on its own. It's actually really sick. We got ourselves a Hoot Hoot and another Mel Metal. This is a very Mel Metal box. All right. Lots of Mel Metal here. Lots of Mel Metal, but that's okay. Mel Metals are boy. All right. Next pack here. Let me know in the comments what card are you most excited about when it comes to this set? Me personally, I'm really going to enjoy playing around with Iron Leaves, but I also really like the Cincino line. There's a lot here to love. We got the Grubbin, the Metacham, Tranquil. Mr. Mime, Perilous Jungle. So this is actually the new stadium card. During Pokemon Checkup, which is in between the turns, put two damage counters on each poison non-dark Pokemon. So I can see Cloth maybe making a little bit of a comeback here. We got an Unpheasant, an Airy. Airy is actually going to be a very influential card. Your opponent reveals their hand and you discard two item cards you find there. So not only are you getting hand knowledge, but you're discarding two very valuable item cards from their hand. So Airy is an amazing card to get. We got ourselves a Mincino, a Heatmore, 
in a da dun sparse. It's da dun sparse. Run away, draw. Once in your turn, you may draw three cards. If you drew any cards this way, shuffle this Pokemon, all cards attached into your deck. So you kind of make up some uh, deck space or some bench space there and a little bit of extra draw support. So that's not, that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. All right, next pack here. No hits yet, but I'm not hating what we've gotten so far because all of it seems really fun to play around with. So let's flip it over and we got ourselves a Terra Cat, Grubbin, Frost Moth, Knock Towel, Sauce Buck with Changing Seasons. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for a Stadium card, reveal it. Uh, may maybe we'll see play yo cypher maniacs code breaking this card is insane so you get to search your deck for two cards shuffle your deck and then take those two cards and put them on top of your deck in any order so you kind of get to set up your own top deck but if you're playing things like the barrel you're able to just draw into them which is super crucial and usually helps you get a lot of cards that you need to win a game so really good card there we got ourselves a behem sable eye reverse Ooh, okay that looks absolutely amazing. Got ourselves an Arbok with Panic Poison. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned, confused, and poisoned. Oh, I'm building with this. We're making a deck out of this. Pre prepare for a, a deckless video of Arbok. And a Coridon, which is going to be an amazing card if you plan on playing the Ancient Box. It's Primordial Beatdown does 30 damage for each of your Ancient Pokemon in play. So you can do quite a bit of damage there. Not bad at all. So we will put the Arbok over there, and we will go ahead and grab our next pack. Let's see what we get here. I really like that Arbok. I'm definitely going to play around with that. And with that new stadium that we pulled, it has some synergy there to actually be kind of crazy. Uh, definitely, definitely excited to play around with that. All right, so got ourselves a Raichu, and I'll make sure to, like, while we have all the comments and everything, to, to take a little bit of time for you guys to pause and read each card just in case you want to see what a card does, because that is some of the fun stuff about a new set. New cards, new things. Buddy, Buddy Poffin, this card is insane. You're not going to have to pause to read this one, because you get to search your deck for two basic Pokemon with 70 HP or less and put them onto your bench and then shuffle your deck. What makes this better than VIP Pass is it doesn't have to be on your first turn. What makes this worse than VIP Pass is the fact that it only gets Pokemon with 70 HP or less. So it's a really, really good setup card, but... You can't get things like Cramorant, you can't get your Vs or your EXs or anything like that, but really good setup card. This is going to see a ton of play. Iron Treads, a Grubbin, Shift Tree, and an Iron Valiant. Okay, not bad, not bad. Okay, so I'm just happy that we've hit a Buddy Buddy Poffin. Now, if you guys have played a wrench, I'm, I'm assuming, you know, but... I, I'll just say this for, for those that might be joining us coming into the Pokemon TCG for the first time. Back in Fusion Strike, VIP passes were hard to hit. I'll be honest, I still don't have like multiple playsets. And I've been playing with like the same playset for a while. This Buddy Buddy Poffin seems like it's going to be a lot easier to hit. Croconaw, Licky Licky, Matang. So this is a card that you're not going to have to pause because we're going to talk about it. Metal Maker. Once during your turn, you can look at the top four cards of your deck and attach any number of basic energy, basic metal energy cards you find there to your Pokemon in any way you like and then shuffle your deck. The other cards you find, you put them at the bottom of your deck. So you'll shuffle the cards that weren't metal energy, put them on the bottom, which makes Matang even better because if you have multiple Matangs, the cards that you just saw that weren't metal energy are going to the bottom, meaning that finding metal energy on the second Matang or the third Matang just became a whole lot easier. Playing Dialga, expect a Dialga decklist video in the future. That is an amazing card. We got ourselves a Karkul, Ancient Booster Energy Capsule, which is an amazing reprint to have here. Rapid Ash, a Bolton, Reverse Beldum for our Metang, Croconaw, and a Melmetal. Okay, we almost got a place at a Melmetal, baby. Maybe we're going to start playing Melmetal. I'll be honest with you. All right, next pack here. Let's see what we got. Also, I'm very curious to see how many A-Specs... That's right, A-Specs are back. So, I'm very curious to see how many A-Spec cards we will get in this one booster box. Box order. Search your deck for up to two item cards. Reveal them, put them in your hand, then shuffle your deck. Your turn ends. Maybe. There's a lot of disruption in the game right now. Uh, so, maybe we'll see play. Good turn one card. Future energy. 
Turtwig, yes, we're definitely going to be playing Torterra. Mudsdale, and a Whimsicott. Okay, so this is a rare Wafting Heal. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may heal all damage from your active grass Pokemon. If any, if you healed any damage this way, discard all energy from that Pokemon. Could actually see play in Torterra. That's funny that we just mentioned that, because this could actually be like a good like 2-2 or 1-1 uh, line in Torterra. So, actually kind of sick. Definitely probably going to play that. Like, at least as a 1-1 one -one in Torterra. Just nice damage reduction. Well, deduction. Just get rid of the damage on your Torterra. Seems really good. You know what? A little bit of a dry spell. We're going to boop the snoot and see if LeChonk pulls through for us. Let us see. Let us see. All right. We got ourselves a Grottle. Okay. Looks like we're getting closer to Torterra. Finizen. Bronzor. Mighty Anna. Mudsdale, Explorer's Guidance. All right, so this card is the newest Ancient Supporter card out of this set and is single-handedly one of the reasons why Ancient Boxes is probably going to be a very viable deck. So you get to look at the top six cards of your deck, put two of them in your hand and discard the other cards. So you're getting rid of cards that you don't need for that game or that matchup or what have you and taking two cards, the two best cards out of those six and putting them directly in your hand. This card is extremely good and we'll see a ton of play all right, so we got ourselves a Colossal Drampa. I love the art on this Drampa. This, this card, absolutely love it. CDOT and a Raging Bolt EX. All right, LeChonk came through for us. We got ourselves the Giraffe. Now, if you guys know me, I do not like Giraffes. They scare me to death. I, I'm just not a fan of Giraffes. So the fact that we have this and Farigaraf, very scared of this set in those in those cards but raging bolt ex is an amazing pokemon so it's a dragon type with 240 hp has an attack called burst roar for one colorless energy where you get to discard your hand and draw six cards which isn't bad if you're going second but bellowing thunder is where this card shines because for an electric and a fighting and since it's ancient you can use sadas on it you can do you can discard any amount of basic energy from your Pokemon and it'll do 70 damage for each card you discarded this way. So if you have a way to build up a bunch of energy on board, you can discard it all with the Raging Bull. Amazing hit. That's one of the decks I definitely want to try out here in the future. All right, everybody, next pack. Let's see what we have in here. Boop the Snoot. We got to boop the Snoot. LeChonk came in through for us in the last pack, so maybe this one. And a Pikachu, okay. Any Pikachu fans out there, there's the boy. All right, so we got ourselves a Scyther, Sizzlepeed, Meryl as a Psychic. Oh, that's right. There's no Fairy. They took away my boy's Fairy type and it made him a Psychic instead. That just looks wrong. <laughs> why, why they do this to my boy? Iron Hands, Rescue Board. This card is amazing. So you get the Retreat card. So it's an item card. And this card is bonkers. The retreat cost of your Pokemon that this card is attached to is one colorless less, which might not sound like a lot, right? But if you stop and think that cards like Comfey only have one retreat cost, you basically give your Pokemon free retreat. Now, any Pokemon with 30 HP or less will have no retreat cost, regardless of how many retreat costs there is on that Pokemon. So really good card. Definitely going to see play. If you're playing Lost Box, you're going to want to pick some of these up. Sandy Shocks, Bramblin, Go Lurk and a go oh, a full art Gengar EX. Okay, Lechonk, thank you. We got the full art Gengar EX. This card is amazing looking, and I honestly feel like the camera's not doing it justice because in person it looks beautiful. Gengar is a new stage 2 EX Pokemon with 310 HP. It is dark type in the ability Gnawing Curse. Whenever your opponent attaches an energy card from their hand to one of their Pokemon, put two damage counters on that Pokemon. It has one attack called Tricky Steps. It does 160 damage and then you get to move energy from your opponent's active Pokemon to one of their bench Pokemon, which basically means I'm going to take an energy from your Pokemon and move it to a Pokemon that you're never going to attack with and just kind of leave it there. So really, really good card. I'm definitely going to be playing around with Gengar. Wow. Okay. Awesome full art. Awesome full art. All right. Next up, we got Iron Leaves. <laughs> Iron Leaves on the front of this pack. Let's go ahead and crack it open and see what we get. Flip it over. And it is a Do Do Dojian Hunter for our Gengar. Pikachu. Ghastly for our Gengar. Perilous Jungle. Unpheasant. 
Airy again. Explorer's Guidance in reverse. Looks amazing. Reverse Matang. We will take that. And an Iron Thorns. Dark Energy in the back. Yeah, so honestly, I'm very happy with, like, the cards that we are hitting in, in bulk here. Like, the Explorer's Guidance, the Airy. A lot of the cards that we are hitting so far are very staple. So, the fact that we're hitting a lot of them in a booster box just screams to how well built this set is because most of the cards are not duds in this set you're going to most likely be playing with them so we got a gullet elgium meltan nuzleaf hand trimmer so this is one of the new item cards from the set it is hand disruption at a more dangerous level right so each player discards cards from their hand until they have five cards in their hand. Your opponent discards first. So if you already have less than five cards in your hand, this card isn't going to hurt you. But if your opponent has more than five cards, well, they're going to have to start getting rid of things because they cannot have those in hand. So this card actually could see some play. Just be wary that it does exist. And it's probably going to be a headache if someone figures out how to actually make it extremely busted. Rabska. Fortress. Rock Ruff, Del Mice, and a Roaring Moon. Okay, so this is one of the big hollows I wanted to hit. I'm a huge fan of Roaring Moon. I made day two, my first day two ever at Charlotte Regionals because I played Roaring Moon EX. So I'm excited to play around with this Roaring Moon. It is a rare, so it shouldn't be too hard to get. It's 140 HP dark Pokemon with an ancient ability trait or the ancient trait. Uh, Vengeance Fletching. Fletch Fletching? Yeah. Vengeance Fletching, 70 plus. This attack will do 10 damage for each ancient card in your discard pile. So if you stop and think, right? You can use Dark Patch. You can use Explorer's Guidance. If you play a bunch of energy, uh, if you play a bunch of ancient type Pokemon, get them all in the discard. You can swing huge numbers with Roaring Moon. So I'm gonna put that in the hit section because that is one of the like major cards I wanted to hit. Okay, Temporal Forces pack number who knows because we are cruising through and have an amazing time. Thanks again to the Pokemon Company International for sending this to me. Uh, I am having a blast. And I hope you guys watching this video are too. So we have an Elgium, Sizzlipede, Meryl, who is the wrong type, Golit, Scorch, Buddy Buddy. So that is two Buddy Buddy Poffin. I never opened up a box of fusion strike but i feel like most people didn't get two vip pass out of theirs so that's going over there iron treads okay here we go we got ourselves a prime catcher now oh my goodness the hollowing on that is amazing wow so this is one of the new a spec cards there are quite a few a spec cards in this set but this one being probably the most controversial because it is a escape rope but you get to choose your opponent's active Pokemon. So basically you switch in one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. And if you do, you switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. So it's an item gusting card that you get to choose without coin flips, no strings attached. You just have to be able to switch in a Pokemon into the active. So if you have like a Mew on the match, you can bring Mew out, retreat, and then attack whatever you want. This card is going to see a ton of play. Mr. Mime. And a Fluttermane. Wow, lots of cards to talk about here. So, Midnight Fluttering. As long as this Pokemon is in the active spot, your opponent's active Pokemon have no abilities except for Midnight Fluttering. The cool thing here is that your opponent's active Pokemon has no abilities. So, it's not stuck to basics. It's not stuck to just evolutions. It's every Pokemon. So, Fluttermane's going to see a lot of play. And its Hex Hurl attack does 90 damage. And you put two damage counters on your opponent's bench Pokemon any way you like. This is going to see play. So, look out for this little guy. Because item or item uh ability locking is kind of a big deal next pack here we go i am so happy with everything hit so far this this box is absolutely insane and we're not i don't even think we're halfway through yet and that that's how amazing this has been all right so we got ourselves a mincino still haven't seen any cincino yet rock rough litten shroomish Full Metal Lab. So actually, let's talk about this one. Metal Pokemon, both yours and your opponents, will take 30 less damage from attacks from your opponent's Pokemon after applying Weakness and Resistance. So this is actually going to be a really good card. Probably see a little bit of play in things like Golden Go or maybe even Dialga if that becomes really popular with Matang. But since Matang is out, I expect to see a lot of Metal Pokemon in the format. So this actually is really nice for them. Got ourselves a Golurk here. Shaman. Shroomish. 
sauce buck, and a for alligator. Okay, for alligator is interesting because it has an ability called torrent torrential heart once during your turn you may put five damage counters on this pokemon if you do during this turn the attacks used by this pokemon will do 120 more damage to your opponent's active pokemon so giant wave can essentially do 280 damage for two water energy which isn't bad at all the problem being is that it is a stage two now it is a water pokemon so it does have access to things like irida so that's not bad but at the same time it just feels like it might be a little bit slower than most other decks all right temporal forces pack number who knows is, that, is anybody counting i i i want to know i i don't know what pack we're on because we're just having so much fun opening these all right we got ourselves the boy done sparse snom mudbray mincino still no cincino boxed order rebombi future booster energy capsule great reprint roly coley bronzor and a Macargo. So nothing crazy out of that pack. Nothing crazy. But you know what? That is fine because we are having an amazing time. Very happy to hit that Prime Catcher. Very, very happy to hit that Prime Catcher. All right. Let's see what is in this pack, y'all. You know what? Boop the Snoop. Because we are having a little bit of a dry spell. I almost guarantee Booping the Snoot will get us something amazing. We got ourselves a lick of tongue charge a bug slugma solosis cypher maniacs code breaking amazing card vicavolt great tusk let's talk about great tusk now i've already made a video on great tusk so i'm going to keep this brief but if you want to see that video link will be in the description land collapse discard the top card of your opponent's deck if you played an ancient supporter card from your hand during this turn you can discard three more cards this way so it's a really really good mill deck and honestly I want to try it out because it just seems so much fun. Ekans. Dunsparce. And a Gengar EX. What did I tell you? Booping the snoot really does help. So this is just the standard version of the Gengar that we pulled already. So I'm not going to go into it. But yes, we got ourselves a Gengar EX. Pretty sure if we just hit one more, we could probably build a pretty decent Gengar deck. All right, next pack. Wow, that Gengar is amazing. The art in this set just looks absolutely breathtaking. I love every single card so far. I haven't I haven't looked at a card and been like, meh, not good art. All of it's been good art. And the only thing that's bothered me is why is Meryl a psychic? I understand it's because it's fairy, but still. All right, Litten. Shroomish. Lickitung. Iron Hands. Rescue Board, love that. Sandy Shocks, Meditite, Screamtail, and a Drampa. Like, I look at him. Oh, he looks so good. I love it. It's beautiful. Beautiful art. This set is absolutely amazing with its art. All right. I think we're almost halfway through this box. Almost halfway through this box. So, like I said, it's going to be a little bit longer of a video because these are new cards. We want to make sure we see everything here. And, um... Uh, Make sure that we really cherish the moment. Giraffe rig, heat giraffes. Salvatore. Okay, so let's talk about Salvatore. So Salvatore says, search your deck for a card that has no abilities and evolves from one of your Pokemon and put that Pokemon into play, evolving it. So let's talk about Salvatore. Search your deck for a card that has no abilities and evolves from one of your Pokemon and put it onto that Pokemon to evolve it. Then shuffle your deck. You can use this card on a Pokemon you put into play when you were setting up to play or on a Pokemon that was put into play this turn. So basically what it means by setting up to play is that if you're going second and let's say you have, uh, I don't know, Ekans out, right? But you want to evolve into Arbok as soon as possible. Well, if you put Ekans out when you were setting up to play, you can play Salvatore going second and evolve straight away into Arbok. Because technically speaking, a Pokemon being put into play and a Pokemon that was put down during setup are completely different things. So that's why it says that. Actually, kind of interesting card. I really want to play with it. Bronzong. This Bronzong has actually been talked about a little bit. Evolution Jammer does 30 damage, and during your opponent's next turn, they can't play any Pokemon from their hand to evolve their Pokemon. So they can actually get around this a little bit, thanks to like TM Evo, but energy stall, energy blocking, I, I'd rather take item lock, if I'll be honest, but we'll see how, how good this is. We'll play around with it for sure on the channel. Excadrill, Azumarill, who's the wrong type, Mudsdale, 
and a Maridon. Really good for the future box. Really good for the future box. But let's show off this Mudsdale. Absolutely beautiful card. I love these special art rares. These things look amazing. Ever since Pokemon decided to start doing these, I, I thank you. Thank you, because you give us a, ma a max rarity deck that normally would only just be like a reverse. But if they have that, it's Chase, and it looks amazing. All right, let's throw that to the side, and let's see what we got. We got ourselves a Slugma, Solosis, Scyther, Skitty, Hand Trimmer, Rabska, Fortress, Noctowl, Meltan Reverse, and a Relicant. Okay, let's talk about Relicant for a second, because this fish, this fish has some moves, all right? Memory Dive. Each of your evolved Pokemon can use any attacks from its previous evolution. You still need the necessary energy to use each attack. So, if you have this thing on the bench, and let's say you're playing Giratina V-Star, right? The most important thing that you have in, like, the Snorlax matchup is your Shred, but you can evolve into the Giratina V-Star and still use Shred thanks to Memory Dive. Really interesting card. I want to play with it, around with it because I feel like there's some unknowns about the card that, you know, maybe maybe there's a Pokemon out there with a really good attack, but it's just a little too weak, but it has an evolution. And you can still access the good attack via the evolution thanks to Relicant. So I'm really hoping we can break that card. Okay. Let's see here. I think this is the second to the last pack on the left side of the box. So we're almost halfway through. Rosalia, Cutie Fly, Drillbur with Dig, 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 Relor, Screamtail, Zero Aura, Iron Valiant, Poochiana Reverse, Bahiam, and a Coridon. Okay, so that's another Coridon. Love that. We are getting really close to being able to build some of the new decks out of this set. We're just missing a couple of the EXs. All right. Last pack on the left side. We want more Roaring Moon, though. If we can hit three more Roaring Moon, that's going to be amazing. That's going to... It's only a rare, so it's not impossible. It's not impossible. All right. So we have ourselves an Electabuzz, a Bramblin, Girafferig, Rosalia, Full Metal Lab, Golurk, Shaman, Golit Reverse, Metacham Reverse, and an Iron Valiant Rare. All right, so that marks half of the box. Let's dive right into the next half because I'm telling you guys, I am not waiting. I am not waiting. We are jumping right in because this set is just so much fun. The art is so good. The cards are amazing. And it's new. Who doesn't love new cards? All right, got ourselves a cutie fly here. Drillbur with Dig Dig Dig, Relor, Ponyta, Cypher Maniacs Code Breaking. Seems like it's gonna be a really easy card to get your hands on. Great Tusk, Snom, Grottle, and a Maridon EX. Okay, so this is another new future card right here. This card looks amazing. So it is a Dragon 220 HP future Pokemon. It has two attacks. Repulsion Bolt does 60 plus. If your opponent attacked the Pokemon already has damage counters on it, it can do 100 more. That will only cost you an Electric and a Psychic. Now, the second attack is Cyber Drive. During your next turn, this Pokemon can't use Cyber Drive, but it does 220 damage, which is not... A stipulation that we're afraid of anymore. We definitely have seen that a lot in the TCG. So, Maridon EX, we will take it. Beautiful card, beautiful card. All right, next pack, we're gonna boop the snoot because we have only hit four EXs in one A spec, which means this other half of the box has to be stacked, right? Has to be stacked. Let's see what we got here. We got Ekans. Have we seen any regular Arbok yet, actually, now that I'm thinking about it? Because if not, we're not gonna be able to play with Arbok. Keldeo, Iron Juggle. Okay, hold on. Let's read the Iron Jugulus because I didn't know this card existed. It has an ability. So, Automated Combat. If this Pokemon is in the active spot and it is damaged by the attack of your opponent's Pokemon, even if it is knocked out, put three damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. Okay. Uh, I don't know how good that might be or how much play that'll see. Delamice, Tortinator Reverse, Rapidash, and Bramble Gas. Pokemon get 50 HP for each prize card your opponent has taken. Oh, wow. Okay, so you can actually make this guy a little bulky. Too bad Fire's kind of, like, really good in the format right now, thanks to Charizard, but... 
Interesting. Interesting ability. Okay. Next pack. We're going to boop the snoot one more time. You did let us down there, LeChonk. You let us down there. You, did, you didn't pull us anything, but I feel, I feel like I can trust your nose this time. I can trust your nose this time. All right. So let's see what we got here. We got Chadot. Cottony. Carvana. Ekans. Salvatore. Bronzong. Excadrill. Nuzleaf Reverse. Solosis Reverse. And then Iron Thorn. So this is another card that you can actually build a whole deck around. So honestly, not too bad. You're getting you're getting a you're getting a pass here, okay, LeChonk, because that is a card that we can build a whole deck around. So you know what? A pass. I dropped this one. It's a sign. It's a sign. Let's see what we get. So, oh, okay. So Orbuck's just a common. Beautiful. Love that for us. Okay. So maybe we have and we just missed it. C dot, Totodile, Deerling, Electivire, Cincino. I think that's our first Cincino. Sableye, Girafferig, Chadot, and a Roaring Moon. Okay. So it was a sign. See, that's the cool thing. It's like the hollows are also extremely playable in the set. So even if you don't hit an EX or uh, A spec or anything like that, you still feel like you got some decent value out of this because you can still play with a lot of these hollows. All right, so the, to the side, and let's see what we have. We have the Tuttle, Poochiana, Wiglet, Meltan, Screamtail. Zero Aura, Iron Valiant, Pineco, Latias. Okay, we got ourselves a Full Art Morty's Conviction. Morty's Convi Conviction is a very interesting card. You can use this card only if you discard another card from your hand. Then you draw a card for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So you can draw up to five with this, which isn't bad, but you're also throwing a card away. So sometimes decks want cards in the discard, and this helps you get there. So really like this card. I might play around with it. I don't know how impactful it will be, but we pulled the full art, so we're probably going to have to play with it, right? <laughs> we're going to have to play with it eventually. All right, we're going to boop the snoot here, and we got ourselves... This guy on the front, walking, quake, quake, the dinosaur. All right, so let's see here. Whoop! We got ourselves a bit of Pineco, Mawile, Metatite, Great Tusk, Morty's Conviction, the regular, the regular version, Shift Tree, Tranquil Reverse, Breloom, and a Da Dun Sparse. So far, I think we've only hit one Buddy Buddy Poffin, so I might have to eat my words on how easy that card's going to be to get when it comes to opening up a booster box. Maybe I'm just getting very unlucky, but so far we've only hit one, and normally you want a play set of cards like that, so hopefully we can hit some more. We got C Dot here, Totodile, Deerling, Bit of, Sharpedo. Metagross, Rose Raid, Sizzlepeed Reverse, a Grottle Art Rare. That is beautiful. Meryl's one of my favorite Pokemon. Uh, Torkoal obviously being the first and any turtle Pokemon for that case. But Meryl is one of my favorite Pokemon. And look at how cute that is. It's adorable. Beautiful card. And we got ourselves another Feraligator. So three art rares so far, four EXs, one full art, and one A spec. The last few packs here, they've, they've got to be stacked, right? They've got to be stacked. All right, let's see. We got ourselves a Tortinator. Hoot Hoot. Beldum. Breloom. Bianca's Devotion. Heal all damage from one of your Pokemon that has 30 HP or less remaining. We'll see how good that is in the future. Explorer's Guidance, very nice. Colossal, Meryl, and an Iron Boulder EX. Okay, so as I said, it has to be stacked. We do get another hit here. It is a future Pokemon, Fighting-type, 240 HP. Repulsor Axe does 60 damage for one 
fighting and one colorless. During your opponent's turn, next turn, if this Pokemon is damaged by an attack, even if it's knocked out, put eight damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. So not bad there. And then you have Power Stomp for 200 damage. Discard two energy cards from this Pokemon. If anything, you're probably going to be using that first attack more than the second. All right, so we have ourselves uh, four regular EXs, two Full Arts, and an A-Spec. So we're booping the Snoot Hardcore now. We're Every pack is going to have the Snoot boop. Come on, you. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Flip it over, and we got ourselves a Pinaco. Mawile, Meditite, Tortinator, Keldeo, Iron Jugulus, Delmice, Ghastly Reverse, Senna Scorch, and another Fluttermane. Really good hollow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs remain. It's almost at its end. I don't want it to end. But again, thank you so much to the Pokemon Company International for sending me this amazing product. I am having a blast. Okay, so Roly Coley, Heatmore, Yamper, Toracat, Latios, Ancient Booster Energy Capsule, Iron Treads, Bronzong Reverse, Hunter Reverse, and a Drampa Holographic. Oh man, the hits are, they're not coming. They're not coming. Seven hit box so far. All right, Temporal Forces, but who can complain, right? Who literally can complain in this position? These cards are absolutely beautiful. Throw that over there and flip it around. We got ourselves the Owl, Hoodoo. Beldum, Heatmore, Roly Coley, Electivire, Sincino, Stabilize. Okay, there we go. We got ourselves a Master Ball Ace Pack. This card is so busted. So, you get to search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it, and put it in your hand and shuffle your deck. It is the ultimate Pokemon search card. This card is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we are super happy. Last few cards, we got a Maridon and an Airy. And in that same pack, we pulled a Encino, so it's definitely looking like Lugia is a good build right now. All right, Temporal Forces, pack number. Sad we're getting close to the end. <laughs> That's the pack number. Oh, almost dropped them all, too. All right, we're going to do a, a post-rip boop snoot. Maybe, maybe, maybe that'll help. All right, we got ourselves a Grubbin, Frost Moth, Noctowl. Crocodile, buddy, buddy, poppin'. Okay, there we go. That's what I'm talking about, Lechonk. You're sniffing out these truffles. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Lycan Rock, Del Caddy, Relor Reverse, Bolton, and a Hollow Macargo. Okay, that pack was great because we got a buddy, buddy, poppin' in it. So yeah, we are on our. Oh no, everybody, we're on our last four packs of the box. I don't want it to end. This is such an amazing set. The art is beautiful. I just want to rip packs all day. This is amazing. Okay. Let's put that over there. Flip this over. And we got ourselves an Azumarill. A Yamper. Grubbin. Metacham. Great Tusk. Morty's Conviction. Shift Tree. Fortress Reverse. Fenizen, and a Coridon. All right. Next pack. Let me know in the comments what, what card are you guys most excited to hit out of your openings, and what card do you love the most out of this opening? Which card did we hit that you absolutely love? We got ourselves another Matang. Carcoal. Grodel, Future Booster Energy Capsule, Iron Hands, Heavy Baton. This is the first Heavy Baton we've seen all box, so let's talk about it. If the Pokemon this card is attached to has the retreat cost of exactly four, is in the active spot, and is knocked out by damage from an attack of your opponent's Pokemon, move up to three damage 
or three basic energy cards from this Pokemon, so you're bunch Pokemon any way you like. So you can move energy around off things like Iron Hands EX, which is super sick. Love the heavy baton. Got ourselves a Wiglet. Oh, we jumped the gun there with the Vulcan, Vulcan special. All right. Last two packs, everybody. Last two packs. Boop the snoot, and let's see. Let's see if we can complete a playset of Buddy Buddy Poffin. Because that would be absolutely insane. Put that there. Flip it over. We got ourselves a Tranquil. Mr. Mime. Raichu. Victini. Bianca's Devotion. Reunuclus. Explorer's Guidance. Iron Valiant's Reverse. Carvana. And a Torterra EX. Okay, there's the big turtle. We're happy. We got the turtle, baby. So we have a 340 HP grass Pokemon with an amazing attack called Forest March. This attack will do 30 damage for each grass Pokemon you have in play. And you also have another attack. Jungle Hammer does 150 damage for one grass and two colorless. And you can heal 50 damage from the Torterra EX. Amazing card. Love the giant turtle. We're definitely going to be playing around with that. Alas, the very last pack. And as I open this pack, I want to just say one last time, thank you very, very much to the Pokemon Company International for sending me this early box. You didn't have to do it, but you did. And we here at Vulcan Turtle TCG appreciate you for doing so. We love you. Thank you. And let's see what we got in this last pack. Boop the Snoot. Benizen. Bronzor, Mightyana, Duosian, Mist Energy. This is our first Mist Energy. How did I forget about Mist Energy? Okay, so as long as this this as long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides a colorless energy. But you have the secondary effect that you prevent all effects of attacks used by your opponent's Pokemon done to the Pokemon that this card is attached to. So things like Sableye, things like Roaring Moon's Auto Delete attack will not go through this Mist Energy. Absolutely. A Amazing card. Happy to finally hit one of those. Sandy Shocks. Bahiam. Reverse Deerling. Rabska. And an Iron Valiant to finish it off. So let me get everything packed up and I'll show you guys all the amazing hits that we got, including all of the staples that we got out of one booster box. Alright guys, so let's recap everything that we've hit in this box that is influential to the game. Now, obviously there could be hidden bangers in all the other cards, but these are the cards that most people are very interested in when it comes to the actual set. So, what did we get in our box? One Mist Energy. We got two Full Metal Labs. We got ourselves three Airy. We got two Perilous Jungles. One Heavy Baton. Two Mori's Conviction, not counting the full art. Two Rescue Boards. And the best part, three Buddy Buddy Poffins. So that's one away from a playset. Three Cypher Maniacs Code Breaking. Four Explorer's Guidance. And two Hand Trimmers. Now for the Pokemon, we got two Relicanth. Three Iron Valiant, which might seem weird that I'm choosing to, you know, do this one because a lot of people aren't talking about Iron Valiant, but take in consideration Gardevoir. Gardevoir can actually build up the Majestic Sword in one turn, and if you played a supporter card from your hand during your turn, you do 100 more damage, which means, and hear me out, you can put two cards on top of your deck with Cypher Maniac, draw them with Curlia, build this up, and then 200 damage with the Iron Valiant. So actually kind of a really good card. So I'm glad that we uh, pulled those. We got three Matangs. Only two Roaring Moon, which is a Womp Womp for me because it is one of my favorite new Pokemon. But hey, two is better than zero. So I am happy about that. We got three Coridon. So we're well on our way to building the Ancient deck. Two Maridon, so this is actually something that you can play like two, three to four in a deck and uh, really good in the future box for that peak acceleration. Two Fluttermane. Three Iron Thorns with its Destructo Press. And two Cincino. So those are just like, 
the hits that are uncommon, rares, and commons. Uh, and then we do have the actual hits themselves, where we got a Torterra EX, a Raging Bolt EX, Iron Boulder, Full Art Gengar EX, and then a Standard Gengar EX. Very happy about those two boys. Muridon EX, Full Art Morty's Conviction, Prime Catcher, the new Ace Spec card, along with Master Ball. And for our art rares, we got ourselves a Mudsdale, the Grodal, that is definitely going in my Torterra deck, and the Arbok when I build the Arbok deck. So that is all the hits from this booster box. Let me know in the comments, how do you think it's spread when it comes to the playables down here? I think it's actually fairly good. I'm not going to lie, I thought I only hit two Buddy Buddy Poffin as I was looking through to see... All the cards, I realized I hit a third. I must have missed it somewhere. But I'm so happy that I did because it's such a playable card. A lot of the playable cards, I didn't mean to hit that. My bad. A lot of the playable cards seem like they're going to be rather easy to get your hands on. Some of them do stink that we only hit one of, like the Miss Energy and the Heavy Baton. But that just comes down to ratios. Your box could definitely be a lot better than mine when it comes to getting all of these cards right here. But it definitely seems like the ratios are going to be very nice in order to get a lot of the main supporting cards to build decks. So... Thank you guys for watching, and thank you again to the Pokemon Company International for sending me this box. It was a blast to open. I cannot wait to start building decks with these cards. Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to get started almost right after I hit stop recording, but I have to edit this video. Uh, so, thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate it. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and until next time, stay safe and be kind.